As we enter into a brand new year, I just wanted to encourage you with something that the Lord has been putting on my heart. This is a short message, but I think one that's really important. So stick with me. You don't want to miss it. You and I have been given an incredible gift, the gift of a new year. And you, like me, may wonder where have all the years gone? But the reality is, is that we cannot get back those years, but we can hold on to what's ahead. Paul said in Philippians 3.13, I focus on this one thing, forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. For each of us, 2024 is ahead, a new year, a new beginning, a new door, a new chance. You know, I love all things new. So with that said, the best thing that we can do is to seize the new. And the best way that we can do that is by making some worthy goals, goals that are easily attainable. Here are four. One, walk closer. Walk closer. I remember when I was in Israel, every landmark that we went to, our tour guide, Peach, would tell us of the biblical significance. And I remember thinking to myself, I don't want to miss anything that he says. I wanted to hear everything. And so in order to do that, I had to be as close to him as I possibly could. And believe me, I was always right next to him. James tells us in James 4, 8, come close to God and God will come close to you. There's always more room to move closer to Jesus, even if it's just taking one step at a time. You may want to start by increasing your alone time with him in prayer or spending five more minutes a day reading his word or eliminating something in your life to make room for Bible study. Let's move closer to Jesus this year. Two, stay focused. Stay focused on what God has put before you. The project that he wants you to work on, the work that he's called you to do, the relationship that he wants you to pour into, the team that he wants you to build. I'm fairly certain that you know exactly what God is telling you to do. And if not, then just ask him. But let me tell you this, it's really easy to get out of focus these days. In the parable, the sower and the seed, Jesus tells us of soil that is good and fertile. Soil that will accomplish what God's plan is and what he plans on doing. But the word of God cannot be fruitful in soil that is overcome with weeds. These annoying plants literally choke out everything that's good. Distractions are these weeds in our lives. Satan will throw many things in your way to get you off target. And then life itself is also very busy. It's really important that we dispose of those distractions in order to stay focused. And then three, no more. No more. The Apostle Paul had many years of ministry under his belt when he wrote a letter to the church at Philippi. He had grown in his faith exponentially over the years. Yet he writes to them in Philippians 3.8, Everything is worthless when compared with the infinite value of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. And then he goes on and he says to them in Philippians 3.10, I want to know Christ. Now, I'm not talking about knowing more doctrine, knowing more stories in the Bible, or even gaining more information. I'm talking about knowing Jesus more. And the only way that we can do that is to spend more time with him. The more time that we spend with Jesus, the more we'll get to know him for sure. Don't you want to know what makes him more delighted? What brings a smile to his face? Don't you want to know more about his character, his love, his grace? If so, then make 2024 the year that you say the same thing as Paul. I want to know Christ. And then four, get healthy. Get healthy. Now, this one can be a little misleading. Why? Because I really do believe that some of us, for many of us, we focus on one aspect of our health, but we neglect another important one. We have two natures, the fleshly nature and the spiritual nature. And I believe that it's important that we become healthy in both, that we live healthy lives, both in the physical realm and in the spiritual realm. Like most things in life, our healthy lifestyle should be well-balanced. 
So in addition to eating good, exercising, staying away from unhealthy things, we need to also live a healthy spiritual life as well. And so that means balancing out our spirituality with prayer, Bible study, worship, and serving others. All of these things create a balanced Christian life. So let's make 2024 the best year ever. Let's strive to walk closer, stay focused, know more, and get healthy.